Look at all this fun stuff I've got in front of me. This is pretty much anything most people, are, well, I better say 99.99% of folks are gonna have on a standard desktop computer. Now, in this episode, which I call Primary PC Components, really all we're trying to do here is a quick little overview to make sure we know the names of all this stuff. That way, as we go through the series, and if I refer to something, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, the most important part that I wanna talk about more than anything else is this beautiful system right here. What you're looking at here is what we call the system unit. Now the system unit is really the computer. Inside of here are the CPU, the brain of the system, RAM, hard drives, all the stuff we need to actually make the computer go. But the problem with the computer is it has to deal with these really, really terrible things called human beings. So as human beings, we have to have other equipment that allow us to interface with the computer. Now, the one thing you're not gonna see in this episode is all of the cables. In order to connect all this stuff together, I need cables, although some stuff's wireless. So I'm kinda of keeping that out of the picture for right now. Trust me, we got plenty of episodes in this series that'll cover all the different types of cabling. So, let's start off right here. So we've got the system unit. A lot of people will call this the CPU, that's inaccurate. This box itself is the system unit. Now I hope everybody recognizes this little BC right here. This is my monitor. The monitor is, allows us to see what the computer's doing and is the primary, what we call an output interface. Next is gonna be a keyboard and mouse. These actually are wireless. So the keyboard and the mouse allow us to provide input to the computer. Marching down here a little bit. Oh, let me have a sip of coffee. Then we're gonna have a printer. So printers provide paper output for whatever we might be needing to do if we need paper. Then we're gonna have speakers. So these speakers provide sound so I can listen to my cold play when I'm, where I'm kidding. And then a couple other little components here I wanna talk about. First of all is this guy right here. So this is a game controller, which is actually kind of fun. Uh, for some of the games that I like to play, I plug this in, this is a USB connector, plug it into the back of my system unit and I can use this as a way to control games. This is a web camera, so if you're talking to me online and we want to actually look at each other while we're doing a Skype session, I'll use a camera like this so you can look at me. What else we have here? Ah. This is an external hard drive. The external hard drive just provides external storage. I have storage inside my system unit, but if I need more or if I want something that's transportable, this is a convenient way for me to plug into a system, save stuff to this, and then I can unplug it and take it to another system. Here's my headset. In my business, I live on headsets. Uh, by business, I mean gaming all the time. See if I can actually get this guy out, here we go. So with a headset like this, this provides me the ability, and it's got a USB connector on the end. And with this, I can listen to games, I can have a microphone for output. If I'm doing web conferencing, this is the one, if you've ever watched a Mike Myers web conference, you've seen literally this headset on my head. And what else do we have? Ah, yes. Last and certainly not least is my big microphone. Now this is a bit of an overkill when it comes to microphones, but it makes for a really, really good sound. The microphone on my headset functionally is the exact same thing, but microphones allow me to talk inside my computer for communication. So, what I want us to do for this episode is make sure you recognize all these different components. We have entire episodes dedicated to system units and monitors and printers and speakers and microphones. But for right now, make sure you're comfortable with the nomenclature because I'll be using it over and over again throughout the rest of this series.